Hello everyone, this is Ed from Fish Wife's Fish Room. This is my door that leads into the fish room. I've got my shoe rack that has all my necessities in it that I use every day. And uh, I'm going over some of the remodeling I did so far. I built this rack here. I had a 110 on it, but of course I cracked it. So I quickly removed that and put my 75 gallon on top for the time being. And up here I have, it's gonna be five tens, or five fives and a half. And then I have four rows of four 10 gallon tanks that will give me 21 tanks. They're my two racks I built. This one. And this one. They're the two I built. And then I built another rack. This rack here holds four 33 gallon tanks. 33 long as they are. They're 12 by 13 by 48 inches. Next, I'm going to be tearing down that rack over there. That's my another four tanks of 33 longs. When I built it, it was way too long. So I'm gonna cut it down to about six inches. So now you get that over here, I have a 30 breeder. I'm gonna redo that rack and do that out a little bit because that one's also like four or five inches too long. So once I move them down, I'll groom them back there. I'm gonna put some 320 longs and a row of five fives. That's my 265 there. You don't realize how much junk you have in your room until you start redoing it and remodeling it. So I have to get all this stuff out of my storage. I even have, I'm so busy, I just threw a bunch of uh, Achilles in these three tubs here. And this rack will be staying by itself. These are my, don't mind the lights and stuff, but I just laid them on there real quick today when I was removing the 40 breeders. This is 11 20 gallon highs. Up there I have my OB peacocks. I have my Sinotilapia juveniles, Afros. Down here I have my Honduran Red Points, my L33 breeding group of six, I think it is, um, Placos, and my Tri-Lineatus Corridoris breeding group. I got nine in there. Down here I have my Matruda Clima Chewries, and in here I have my breeding group of Super Red Placos. Actually, I've got two males and one female. So I bought them, it was supposed to be two females and a male. And then here are my cold water Paraguay bristle nose. There's a giant male hiding behind a filter, along with my red tailed Gadeids, and a four smaller, or five smaller ones. There's six all together. They live in temperatures that are 40 degrees. They can go down to. Down here we got my Pundamilla Nairi fry. In here we have some more red tailed gadaids. And over here we have red tailed gadaids. Up here I just got these Astatilapia latifasciata. I got them from Bay's uh, Rare Fish. Along with down here, you can't see because I got so much stuff in the way. These are um, also Chindigo, the Mason Eyes, and I have uh, Matria Clima, Mason Reefs, and some Jewel Spots that are all less than two inches. And uh, I'm going to be moving all them to separate tanks. And in here is my breeding group of. L134 Placos. 
the leopard frogs. I'm hoping to breed them now. I had them in a 40 breeder, but as you can see, the 40 breeder rack is taken down and the tanks are sitting over here filled with all my junk. The top one is anyway, along with my shop back and my humidifier. This 33 has my red devils in it. I'm going to be keeping this one and getting rid of all the rest. I'm going to keep her for show because she has the red lips and the red tail. I like that style. Up here is my breeding group of Pundamella Nairi. And he is ready to breed. I think he already bred with <laughs> a few of them. Oh, and I see a cutter eye. Must have jumped out from up here. Somehow ended up down there. So, and they're also in here with my Lepido Lampelaga. Lampelogus breeding group. A lot of juveniles that are almost inch and a half, along with the female. I lost the male, but I do have two females in here, so I'm hoping to get a male out of one of those juveniles. So I have like 80 of the uh, cutter eyes in here. Up there, I have an empty tank. I got rid of a lot of my guppies. Um, this is my new rack I just built. This rack, if I can get over here out of the way, this rack here is, I have three, six, nine 20 gallon longs, and I got one 29, and beside it will be another 29, and I needed somewhere for my linear air pump. So I had to go away with one, I was counting on three up there, but then I forgot the air pump was up there. That comes first. And this is one of my 50 breeders, um, 50 low boys actually. I went and um, moved my L134 Plagos out of here and into the 40s and now I moved them into the 33 longs for the time being. And down here are my, I have two Cipricomus in here with my breeding group of Neolampologus multifasciatus. I, uh, this stand will be like the third stand to come down. And I'm gonna put my 250 breeders. I'm gonna lower the top one down halfway. And I'm gonna, on top of that, will go one of my 33 longs I have extra. And down here will be my 120 gallon tank I have that I'm in the middle of resealing. And I don't know if I went through all these. Up top we got Therichthys Malcopinus. I have 80 of them. Down here I have my Limias Perugies. Here's the male. The male's great color in it. He, uh, I lost the female, but I know I got a bunch of females in here. So he's already got half of them pregnant. Here's my Bristlenose regular albino breeding group. There's one of the males. I have two males and two females. And actually a few of the uh, young that they had months ago are in here too. They're over two and a half inches long. Up here, I have Flavis, Chindingo Flavis. Over here I have um, Limia nigrofasciata, which are the humpback Limias. I have a fry, and the parents are right next door here. Get that male, I'll show you. Humpback on them. But the female is ready to load in, unload any minute. Down here we got Anatolania Myrnae. We have guppies, which are endlers. Black bar or T-bar, whatever you want to call them. The Mernays are in here, the rest of the breeding group. And over here we have Sinotilapia, Aphras. And in here are my week old barbs, Odessa barbs. They are really growing fast. A lot faster than the um, when I bred these guys down here, my zebra danias, 
they took forever to grow. These are over a month old now. Over here I got my mixed guppy group. Down here I have Pundamilla Nyaris, another batch of Pundamilla Nyaris, my red super red bristle nose placos, and more of the Amatobionia mernays, and uh, my peacocks. And in here we have the tiger lemmias. Down there is my flavus, my male. And he's in my 75 with the teardrop barbs and a bunch of males and females of Pundamilla Nairi. I have like three different breeding groups of these. So, and that's about it. So hopefully tomorrow I'll have all these tanks filled and uh, I'll also have this rack done and then I'll be able to put my 40 breeders on top and then on top of that will be um, I'm going to put a 20 high and a 10 gallon tank and that'll be it. This room will be done for the time being until I build a 20 and move them two in the back out of the way. But that's it. Everybody uh, have a good night. Stay safe out there. Bye.